I'm in Tony Montana mode today. I'm all about revenge. I want my revenge, man. Offspring's revenge. So that's what I'm playing. I'm playing Offspring's revenge. Um, I like this card when I first seen it. I wanted to do something with it, um, but it was. It's been very hard to try to make a deck with this. To you know something that would function like you want it to function because it's kind of like uh, if you have big creatures and then you're getting them back as one ones. It's kind of like you know not so great. But I finally got it to work. I finally put something together that made this card decent. Um, this deck is a lot of fun to play, and it can kill out of nowhere. I'm back to the, you know, I like my, my beat face, you know, creature beat in action, you know. So this deck is right along with that because um, even though you're making 1-1s, one they, they hit for a lot. So this deck can surprise a lot of people. It can surprise people because they don't know what it's doing. or You know, they don't know. They, they People haven't seen a deck like this, so they don't really know what's going on. All I think a lot of people, when they see Offspring's Revenge, they kind of see it as not even a threat because they're like, oh, what's a 1-1? Yeah, I'm not afraid of that. So they typically don't even worry about bothering it. Um, but the deck. So I'm running um, four Reunion and four Possibility. Um, these cards are essential to the deck because you need the looting effects. You need to be able to draw um, so that you can find Offspring and so that you can pitch um, your creatures to the grave. Um, I'm running four embodiment of agonies. This guy is like just made for this deck because um, you typically you can play him out early game for defense or you can you know to get a threatening presence on the board and people will end up using their removal on him you know while you play him early game. Well then when you get offspring's revenge out you bring him back from the grave and he comes back bigger because his double zero is turning into one one but he still comes in with the counters from everything that's in the grave, all the different casting costs, uh, mana costs, I should say. So this guy, he works. He's like an all-star in this deck. Uh, mur two murderous rider, you know, removal, take care of planeswalkers and whatnot. Uh, cry of Carnarium to make sure we stay alive. We don't just die to aggro. Same thing with Shadow of the Sky. We don't die to mid-range. Um, Cavalier of Flame, uh, very good for you know, filtering out cards out of your hand. You know, if you got, you know, maws, big maws in your hand or boshes or, you know, agonies that you want to discard or just lands maybe, you just got lands and you need to get rid of them because you do get to a point in the game where you do have enough lands to where you can just start casting your stuff and you don't need to depend on offspring to, to snatch them back from the grave as one ones. Uh, I'm running three Obosh. I wanted to make him um, the companion of this deck, but... The deck just doesn't function as well as it does now without the uh, the the two mana cost spells. So you gotta have those for the consistency of being able to loot big creatures to the grave and um, find an offspring. So of course we're running four offsprings revenge and uh, four uh, Dracula said uh, maw the flames. So um, I mean pretty much the main combination of this deck is to get uh, maw without with obosh and agonies i mean obosh is ridiculous when you get him back as a one one when you have a maw out or agonies because agony will typically agonies will typically come back you know as a five five or a six six and if you get a a one one obosh token now your agonies is swinging for 12 or you know 10 or 12 in the air um your one one uh maw is now swinging for you know the four damage coming from it is now eight you know, and, and the, the one damage that they're going to take from him is, is two. So, all together, it's a 1-1 it's a one, one swinging for 10 damage. Um, it's just crazy. You know, um, as far as the mana base, I got uh, two plains, two swamps, two mountains, uh, three godless shrine, one temple of silence, two blood crypt, two temp, uh, no, one temple of malice, uh, three sacred foundry, one temple of triumph, uh, the sav... Savai Triome. I'm running four of those. Uh, and four Fable Passage. Uh, this deck is very mana hungry. It's very mana greedy. So um, you're going to end up eating a lot of damage sometimes from, you know, uh, the, the shock lands. And, you know, sometimes you may have to try to work around the tap lands coming in. Um, but you can't run a whole lot of basics in this because the, the mana just flips around so much. You got double black here. You got double white. You got triple red, triple red. Um, offspring is very mana intensive to cast, so 
This deck is very greedy when it comes to mana. Um, so the mana base is pretty much what I have it set at is probably where it's most optimal where it needs to be. Um, but you can toy around with it and see what works for you. Um, as far as competitive wise, this deck, I would I would rate this as more of, of a tier two to casual type deck. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for trying to push into mythic and make rank if your goal is to, you know, go into the upper ranks of, of uh, the ranked. So, um, but it's a lot of fun. Um, and if making the highest rank isn't, you know, your main priority, then play this deck. It's a lot of fun, um, especially in casual. Um, it, I, I had so much fun with it. I typically, when I play this deck, I played it in rank and I'm playing it in rank in, in these, these matches that I got on this video. Um, I tend not to not run into so many meta decks when I play this deck. I don't know why, um, because typically you run into a lot of meta decks when playing every, a lot of different decks. You run into just meta deck after meta deck after meta deck. But I saw some very obscure, crazy, off the wall type decks, which I have, you know, in my matches on this video. So you guys will see. But let's get into the gameplay. I generally don't like to keep a two lander, but I keep it with this deck if I have a reunion. Reunion will usually draw me more lands. I'm going against the Mac. Max B7. See what you got, Max. Mac Daddy. Alright, I'm gonna pay the two life so I can use reunion here. Pitch the mall and uh Obosh. I wonder what he's playing here. Alright, nothing. I'll go ahead and pay this so I can get the embodiment down. So I can have some threat on the board. If he's got removal, I'd rather rather him use it now. Then uh, versus using it on my tokens. Um, go ahead and play this tap so I don't have to pay any more life. Go ahead and get a second one down. So got dual threat on board now. So he's got removal. He's got to start using it. All right, that's fine. Go ahead and get uh get offspring down here and get Maul into play. Get this mountain. Whoops. You're gonna have to do something about uh Maul. He kills Maul. Um, it's fine. Cause uh, Obasha will just come in and kill him anyway. <laughs> If he kills Maul, Obas will come in. I'll have six from the demon and two from Obas. Uh, well, he didn't. He didn't kill Maul anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just going to combat here. He's he's dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not the best of hands, but I will. I'm gonna try. It. I got a scry land. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try. Oh. Red. It's not good. Alright. If he doesn't play an Annex, I might make it to turn four. What? No turn two play? Oh, okay. I'm gonna pay the two, even though I don't want to. I, I need to. I need to get stuff in the grave. It's the bad part about this deck is that sometimes you get put in the bind where you have to pay life for your lands because you need to get stuff in the grave for it to function. And getting beat to death by this scorch bitter. What? No turn three play. Oh. What has he got in his hand? What what mono red deck has a grip full of cards and three lands on the what, 
what is he, what is he doing? I should be dead by now. <laughs> I should be, I should be at like five life or less right now. I don't know, what he, I don't know what he's got, but whatever. <laughs> All right. Um, I think I just want to go ahead and use reunion here. I can uh, pitch Maul and uh, Cavalier. Yeah, yeah Cavalier, because I, I already got a, I already got old Bosch in the graveyard, so I don't need two in the grave. I wonder what this guy has in his hand. Uh, might as well use this one, because just get it out the way. Um, pitch your Bosch. Uh, pitch a land. I, I feel confident I'll draw another land. Alright. What do you have in your hand, sir? Oh. Well, that's, that's definitely something to be having in your hand. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna play Offspring. Wait. Uh, let me use Passage because I don't want to. I don't want to. I want to minimize my chances of, of drawing lands as much as I can at this point. All right. I'm gonna bring Maul out. Maul's gonna kill both of his guys. Hopefully he doesn't just uh, have a handful of burn just burn me out. Four to you. Three to you. Pretty sure Maul is probably gonna eat some burn here, but better at Maul than at me. Couldn't <laughs> okay, well, use that on me anyway. Um, all right, let me get this down. Catch another land first. Um. I got my grave here. Got two old bosses. Uh, all right. I could just play one. Hold on. Wait a second. Oh, I got one in the grave. Okay. I'm. I'm just gonna play the, the second offspring and uh, bring old boss and the cavalier back, and then I'm gonna pitch the other cavalier to the graveyard. This land, Cavalier. Uh, I want my boy wife, so yeah, I just pitched the land in both the Cavaliers. I keep the boy wipes in the in the back pocket for insurance. Never know what might happen. What are you doing? Why, why are you doing it? If he kills it, right. Chandra's gonna Let's bite the this. bullet. <laughs> okay, well, you're sure Chandra's gonna die now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I need more practice. <laughs> I don't think he, I don't think he thought that one out there. All right, um, do I want a third offspring? Or should I play Obosh? Um, wait, I have Obosh in the grave, right? Uh, yeah, got one in the grave. All right, um, he just. Go ahead and play the demon. Get the Cavalier and Obosh back. And I can use the uh, pump off Cavalier. And uh, that'll, that'll be game. <laughs> don't play around with this guy anymore. Let me hang around in six life, so he uh, deserves to die. Eat it. It's a great, great hand to keep here. Uh, yeah, I guess I want that. I can pitch that to the grave. I've been having so much fun playing this deck. This deck has been, uh, 
been it's been a lot better than what I thought it was going to be. Um, especially in Mythic. I uh, I do encounter a lot of a lot of counter spell decks with this planet's deck, but I usually don't even don't even include those in the video because I know most people don't want to see counter matchups because they just get long and drawn out and just boring, like fighting through counter spells all the time. But I do encounter a lot of those for some strange reason. I, I don't see very many counterspell decks when I'm uh, playing fires decks, but trying to play anything else, I usually see a lot of. Uh, it took that long to, to come up with that you want to do that. <laughs> All right, go ahead and draw your card. Go ahead and kill that. I don't want him uh, piling up card advantage on me. Hopefully I draw into another land here. I'm gonna be in some trouble. What you got, man? Tomorrow I, I have no idea what this guy's playing. This is some weird uh chess guy stuff he's got going on here. Alright. Go ahead and get this down. Pretty sure that's gonna eat some removal, but Rather for him to get it out now. What is this deck? <laughs> what is this? Jaya's greeting. I haven't seen one of those in never. <laughs> Nobody plays that. Uh, getting the Scorch Spitter beat down. See if I can gain some of this life back that I'm getting roasted out of me from Scorch Spitter. Gonna kill it? Got my graveyard in. That whole boss and oh, gonna kill it. Alright. He's determined to get his Scorch Spitter in for lethal. Scorch Spitter for the win. Cavalcade? What is this deck? <laughs> Just got Cavalcade? Okay. <laughs> um. I just want to play this. And get down some defense. And, uh. Wait a minute. Uh. I actually want the reunion. I'm gonna just pitch the shatter. I want the reunion in case I draw something I need to pitch. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm just gonna hold this land. Can pitch it to reunion if I have to. Such a weird deck. I'm playing a weird deck too, but. I mean, man, this is. Really obscure. Oh, I got my grave here. Alright. Um I think the play is Well, let me let me see what he does here. He's got something he's brewing up over here in his brain. Alright, I definitely wanna block this here. I've had enough of the score spitter. I'm gonna lava coil my uh can't see you attacking blindly here, so Yeah, alright. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play this. Pitch them all in the land. All right. Uh, play this land. Can you uh? Can you kill my cavalier again? Man, cavalcade. It's crazy. Yeah, that's that's really not gonna help you. <laughs> All right, time for some some revenge. Some revenge. The mall wants revenge for all the scorch spitter damage I've taken. <laughs> Let's go ahead and fry your uh, soldier. Kill it. 
you got? Come on, American Cavalcade. Very weird deck. <laughs> I wonder how often this deck has worked for you. It's not going to save you. He can't save you. Gonna make a soldier? Can't save you either. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, get Obosh. And uh, swing in for lethal. <laughs> in with everybody. Let's go 8 to you, 6 to him, and 6 to him. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> Face! Two lander. Good keep. Got some uh, looting cards, so good to go. Malfac. An original name. Waiting on you, Malfact. Alright, keep that there. Black. Alright. Go ahead and pitch your boss. Alright, the cry. Cry Carnarium is a good pick up here if he's uh yeah ores off. Yeah, there's no lures though. Hmm. It's weird. Pitch this. No lures. Where are your lures? I don't think I uh, I don't run into very many Oh yeah, he definitely should have lures. I don't I don't run into too many decks running that card without lures. White in case I draw into a uh, shatter and I absolutely have to use it. All I got is a Bosch and a grave right now. I got three offsprings in my hand. That's uh, it's not good. Um, we go ahead and yeah, I'm gonna get off get offspring down now. Bring Cavalier back and uh, so I can pitch some of the stuff in my hand here. Yeah. Thought about old boss, but nah. Be the better thing to do here is to get some better cards in my hand. Just gonna sit tight. Gonna kill my cavalier. It's just a baby cavalier. Don't kill him. He's not the big, scary, intimidating cavalier like his daddy. Oh no. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I'm not. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> I thought he was gonna get rid of the cavalier. All right, take your one. All right. Go ahead and uh, fetch up the land, and then I'm gonna gonna use reunion and. Uh, Pitch the maw and the demon. Alright. Uh, that's good. Now I got Murderous Rider up. So if he plays something that I can't kill with a uh, Cry of Carnarium. Come on, Malfak. What are you doing, man? You're dirtling. You're dirtling with your little. Little tokens. Um, you can have that. What? Is that uh? What was that? Um, yeah, you can. Oh, general's enforcer. All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to kill that general's enforcer. I'm not gonna block because um, I don't wanna be taking so much damage from this enchantment up here, so. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'd rather just take the one from the token instead of killing it and taking two. I want to exile all the stuff now anyway. Alright. Next turn I can get some offspring going. Get some... Get Let the fruit of my loins... Oh wait. Oh, I won't. <laughs> I gotta get rid of these guys. <laughs> Alright, next turn. It'll have to contend. Wait, no, I can, yeah, I can, I can do it now. Alright, yeah, let me get them all. Go ahead and eat five. I'm racing him now, so. Um. Let me see here. Let's go into combat. I'm going to live dangerously. I know I probably shouldn't do this. This is a bad play. Do not do this at home. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to kill his his thing here. I'm going to kill his taser. I'm going to put myself at 2. Give him a chance at coming back here. I'm such a nice guy. I'm giving them the opportunity at the comeback to pull up the upset victory. That's not gonna get it. <laughs> That's not gonna get it, buddy. Alright. Yeah, you're very dead now. <laughs> yeah, eat eight. I gave you a chance. Can't say I didn't. Bye! is a keep I'm not DJ who are you then waiting on you I'm not DJ <laughs> what is your name you can tell me yeah secret um all right I don't need to take damages right now and I don't have anything worth pitch into the grave so I'm my DJ playing Yorion all right I need to start getting some stuff in my hand so let me pitch one of the enchantments in the shatter wow it's bad <laughs> I don't need to be drawing bad going against Yorion Luckily for me, he's playing pretty slow here. Oh, um, need another reunion. Pitch this and a lot of planes. Want to keep the passage? Man, I'm drawing really bad. I'm drawing all of my my looting cards, but no uh, no big creatures to loot away. This is bad. Alright, I only got something. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and fetch now. One less land to draw. Uh, go ahead and use Reunion. Pitch a uh, Bosch and a land. Don't need any more lands. Alright, um. Wanna, I want to. I want to be able to kill. If he plays something that I need to kill. If he plays Yurion right now, I'm gonna go ahead and kill it. Uh, all right. I'm gonna worry about him. You can flicker it if you want to. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> go ahead and flicker it. Pitch the demon in the mall. And um, play my tap land. 
Oh, I can't. I already played lane. Alright. I'm gonna still hold up this rider. I don't want him... Oh. Alright. Garuda Yuria? Man, I've been seeing some... Some really obscure decks t today. Like... So, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it. I don't, I don't I'm gonna board wipe anyway. I don't wanna uh, give up two cards. That's fine, I ain't worried about doing that. Alright, go ahead and board wipe now. I can do uh, possibility at instant speed, so. Oh. Oh man. This deck is all. It's got all the goodies. <laughs> you pitch <your> Cavalier. <laughs> Alright. Um, that's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a problem. Um, see what I got. Okay, uh, well, <clears throat> trying to think, what can I do? What can I do here? What can I do? All right, let me go ahead and play this. to play this. Play too live. Go into, well, I guess it really doesn't matter which order I do this win. So, um, uh, man, Dream Troll is a problem. Go ahead and, I'm going to discard a card here to give it hexproof. Go ahead. Discard your card. Alright. Going to combat. Um Let me get the maw. Y yeah. Wait. Yeah, the maw the maw is the the better option here. I'm trying to plan turns in the head. I'm trying to plan my next two turns if I get two more turns of how I can deal with this dream trawler because I'm, I'm not I'm never gonna be able to remove it if I don't uh, draw a shatter all right what's he gonna play here I'm anticipating that he's going to swing in here, and uh, next turn, I can play another Offspring. That'll give me two creatures from the grave. Alright, can play anything else? I think he's just going to flicker his, his Dream Trawler. He's got a little blue mana open up there, so... I don't know, I, I've never seen this, this style, this deck combination, so I don't know if he's playing counter spells or what. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna, should I? No, wait a minute. Alright. He's at 24. I got Cavaliers. I got... Wash in the grave. 
I gotta try to kill him now, because I won't get another turn. Alright. Let me play this offspring. I'm gonna target the trawler for removal. He doesn't have a counter spell, he would have countered that, I, I would assume so. Um, if he counters it, then I'm, I'm dead, but. Alright, if he doesn't counter it, then I'm, I, I'm in a good spot. Counter? Okay, alright, that's good. Alright, so now I get, I get, I'm gonna get Obosh. And I'm going to get the demon. And that should put him at lethal because 8, 9, 10, 14. Yeah, that's, that's game. That is game. Yes, I know it's nice. He did 8. Good game, buddy. That's how you beat Dream Troll. There you have it. It's always nice seeing a 1-1 one -one deal 10 damage. Always nice, always nice. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Please share this video. Please spread the stacks mania to the world. Spread the scoop phase mania to the world. Let everybody know I'm one of your favorite jank YouTubers. Spread the word, spread the word, please. Like and subscribe. See you guys next time.